Hello and welcome to another InventRight TV show. We have Mr. Stephen Key, InventRight co-founder, myself, who also co-founded InventRight 20 years ago along with Stephen. And we have a resident LinkedIn expert, Benjamin Harrison. We're going to do a short series here of some videos on how to use LinkedIn. And Benjamin is a resident expert. Not only is he an expert at LinkedIn, but he's an expert at LinkedIn for licensing. Even better, right, guys? So what are we talking about on this video, guys? Well, let me jump in here because I'm really – I'm glad to have – Andrew and I haven't done one of these in a long time, so I'm glad he's on. And Benjamin I've known for a long time, and he's an expert at something that that people really need to have this content, Ben. It's really important because today – one of the biggest obstacles for inventors is reaching out to those companies that want ideas from us. And a lot of people are really struggling with that. We hear it all the time. Andrew hears it all the time. They call maybe the wrong companies. They're not getting backed or it's like a black hole. What, do, what am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? We just hear this stuff all day long. Now, you're an expert at this because I've seen you over the years get into everyone. I don't care how big, I don't care if they're big, small, I've watched you per perform your magic on this. I'm like, how is he doing this, Andrew? I asked you to, how does how does Benjamin get into all these companies and, and do it with ease? Because it wasn't that easy at the very beginning, was it, Benjamin? Oh, no, not at all. The struggle was real for a long time. <coughs> there was a, a long road of, of silence before getting to a point where I could get anybody to respond in any industry, let alone big companies. Because when you first started out, those were like the biggest of the big companies. It was in the music industry, and we're talking big record companies. And I remember um, we were talking about it, and you were saying to me, I've got to find a way of getting in. And you started studying it, and you started playing with stuff, and you came up with something, and you shared it, and it started to work. And Andrew and I started noticing that it was working. And not only it worked for you, you started helping other people with this. So today we're going to talk about, in fact, we're going to have Ben come on a couple of times. Who knows how many times. If you guys really like this series, you know, give us a thumbs up and say, Ben, come back. But Ben's going to show you how to get into the companies. What, is, what do you need to do to your LinkedIn profile so you look professional, how to reach out to those companies, and how to get a response back? Because LinkedIn is the way now, isn't it, to reach out to companies? Absolutely. It provides you with a bunch of strategical advantages of getting into companies. It's a great research tool. And I think one thing that people really love about it is everybody's busy, right? People don't have time to sit and make a bunch of cold calls during the day. And so LinkedIn's perfect because you can do it anytime, day or night, and you don't have to just be working around business hours. Now, wait a minute. Everybody likes the cold call, right? I mean... There's no <laughs> <laughs> that that is I, lo one thing. I love it. I hate it. I'll tell everybody. I don't care how many times you've done it. It's it's never comfortable if you don't know somebody for the first time. In fact, it's harder than ever to get someone even on the phone today, right? No one wants to everybody wants to qualify you before they talk to you. And that's why LinkedIn is so powerful today, isn't it? Yeah, that's the biggest strategical advantage that I see is that you're able to control the way that people perceive you on LinkedIn whenever you're reaching out to them in a way that you're not able to control on you know, cold calls or emails. There's just no comparison. You know, Andrew, it reminds me of controlling the pitch. Hmm. We always talk about your sell sheet controlling the pitch. And your LinkedIn profile is like your sell sheet, isn't it? It's your sell sheet for yourself, yeah. Yeah, and, and so, Benjamin, people don't need to be captains of industry or have done anything particularly impressive in order to have a good LinkedIn profile and get responses from people, do they? I wouldn't be able to if you did. Uh, so, absolutely, you don't have to have, like, a, a extremely long resume that's just impressive. You don't have to have all the connections, you know, going into this. It's all about how you craft your profile and do it in a positive way that shows you as a, a, a positive participant within an industry. And so you don't have to have a lot of experience going in at all. It's all about how you how you build it out. Now, now Benjamin, I've heard you mention before that a lot of people think it's just a site to get a job, 
that it's a job hunting site. Is that true? It started out that way, but the problem with having a, a web or a platform that's all about just job searching is that you don't get a whole lot of daily activity on it. It's not something that people use every day. So LinkedIn has turned into more of a, a professional platform that people actually check daily, sometimes several times a day. And nowadays, no, wait, a minute, wait a minute. I've seen Andrew take a picture of his lunch and put it on LinkedIn all the time. So that's, is not, that that's true? not true, guys. That's Steven. Steven's doing that. Uh, <laughs> and he does that on his no, Facebook. I, he knows better than to do that on LinkedIn. But I, I'll back I'll back Andrew on this. It was brunch that it was a picture of Steven. Okay, all right, yeah. <laughs> that's not so me. We're gonna, that's not me. So let's do this. Uh, we're going to do a whole series of this um, of these type of talks on LinkedIn licensing. LinkedIn licensing tips and strategies from B Benjamin Harrison. So what do you want the first one? What, what are we going to leave people with about what can they do today, Benjamin? Let's give them something they can do today. So the first thing they should probably do is probably look at their profile. Absolutely. I would, I would look at my profile and then I would look at the profiles of people in an industry that you're thinking of pitching an idea to. Maybe you have an idea already. So what I would do is I would look at marketing managers, some, some key players in companies that you would like to get your ideas into, and I would study their profile. And you want to make sure that you guys are kind of on an even playing field where they don't feel weird about passing you off to somebody else in that company because your profile looks looks like an amateur's and theirs looks more polished. So I would study those and then try to at least meet them at a level where they would be comfortable in passing you off to somebody else in their company. Now, wait a minute. Does that mean I have to put a tie on and stand behind some desk? Because look at you. You don't look like the typical guy with the tie on. How do you get away with it? Uh, I got away with it with taking a bunch of pictures like i'm not someone who enjoys taking pictures of myself i get that it's not a fun thing to do to take your profile picture for any kind of platform okay. so the way that i was able to get something that i was happy with at all was to set everything up i, I did it myself with a, a smartphone and i used my watch as a timer for it and i just took a bunch of pictures changed lighting and then after i had gotten all those together I went through them one by one, found one that didn't make me want to throw up in my mouth whenever I looked at it, and <laughs> you've got it from there. But that's the thing. Once you have that one picture, that's all it takes. You don't have to look great all the time. Just focus on getting that one good Benjamin, one that's going to be your, we, we gotta your, wrap your up branding. A, we got to wrap up, but one last tip. When people do take a picture, should it should just be their cutoff head. Should their shoulders be included? How far... What, what should be in there? I, I, I was on LinkedIn this morning, and there was a woman on there with far too much cleavage for a professional website. And I'm not an uptight guy, but I'm like, maybe okay for Facebook, but not okay for LinkedIn. I mean, it was crazy. I mean, she was basically naked. And I'm like, you know, is that okay? What, what are your thoughts on pictures? I guess it depends on the profession. But <laughs> oh, true. Uh, mainly yeah, that's a good what response. What you want true. to do is is – your icon is really small on LinkedIn. It's not something that's that's really big and out front all the time. It's people. It's really hard to see someone's face unless it's the picture is basically their face. You don't want a full body shot. Uh, you want it close enough to where people can see your face whenever they're looking at the icon. And so that is you know pretty pretty tight on your head. You don't want to show much, much higher than that because you want people to be able to see your face as if they were meeting you in person. Got it. Okay, so let's summarize real quick. The best way to reach out to potential licensees if you're an inventor is through LinkedIn today because no one's picking up the phone. You can do it any time, day or night. If you live anywhere, you can do it. It's really simple. So you, if there's no time restriction, right? You can send a message to anybody. And we're gonna talk about what to send and what to say later. It allows you to, to really produce a sell sheet of yourself and present yourself correctly. So, because people are going to check you out. Is that correct? We talked about that. So you, you need to build that profile correctly. We're going to talk more about that in the next, in the next uh, video that we're going to do. So it's the number one tool. Anybody's listening. It's the number one tool. You have to be on LinkedIn. If you're not, you're not in business, you're not in the business of licensing ideas if you're not on LinkedIn. 
Stephen Key here. Ben, thanks. Andrew, thanks. I cannot wait to the next one. Thanks. Take care. Keep inventing, guys. Bye.